have another couple for you. So, f starting off with question number 15, we have Claire, who's 45 years old, she's a female, with a waist circumference of 32 inches, and we also know her hip circumference is 37 inches. We're asking what category of risk she falls with these two measurements. So, 32 inches for the hip, and 30, or excuse me, 32 inches for the waist, 37 inches for the hip, we're automatically thinking waist to hip ratio. So, if we went up here, typed in 32 inches for the waist, 37 inches for the hip, what is that ratio? And that's simply 32 over 37, which ends up being 0.864, okay, 0.865. Now, what we need to do now is to consult the waist-to-hip circumference ratio norms for men and women. So, we know it's a woman. We know her age was what? She was 45. Okay, 45-year-old female, 40 to 49 age range, and it's 0.86. That brings us to this region right here, which is up to 0.87 from 0.80. So, she is at a high risk based on her measurements. Is that one of our answer choices? It certainly is. All right, next up we have Jack. Now Jack is six feet tall, 72 inches, and he has a waist to height ratio of 62.2%. Now, is that high? Well, let's see. These are our risk ratios here for men. In other words, if you are above 53.6% um, as round as you are tall, then you are at risk. However, if you are above 58.2% as round as you are tall, then you are at a substantial risk. And here's Jack at 622 which puts him in that substantial risk category. And that is absolutely true, and that's all in the prompt. You already know this. And the question is, maybe he's asking this, maybe his wife's asking this question, is how many inches around his waist does he need to lose in order to not have an elevated cardiometabolic risk? So how much does he have to lose to not be, not just sub substantial risk, but not even be in the risk category. So he needs to get below 53.6% waist to height ratio. All right, so let's come over here. I've actually already done this here. So what I've done is we take his inches, his height in inches, and we're gonna multiply that by the percentage that he currently is because we wanna know, well, what is his waist circumference now? And we wanna know what does his waist circumference have to get down to? So, his waist circumference currently is 44.78 inches. We know that because we know how tall he is, and we know the percentage of that height in which he has a waist circumference of. And so if he is 62.6% um, as round as he is tall, then we can just multiply 72 inches tall by 62.2%. That gives us 44.8, essentially, inches. Then we can do the same thing with what his goal um, waist to height ratio should be. And we can say his goal is to get below 53.6. And so let's do the same thing again. Here we go. 72 inches times 0.536. Remember that's a decimal because that's a percentage. Okay. So his goal is to go from 44.8 down to 38.59 inches. So the question is asking how much is that change? How many inches does he have to lose? And so we can simply subtract this from that. So 44 minus that 38 should be 6 something. Okay. And got 6.192. And it says round to the nearest tenth. And so we can say, well, that rounds to 6.2, and that is our answer down here.